Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have something different about the Android boxes and TVs. This is an Android TV. It's a Philips TV, 43 inch, that has Android as the operating system. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. Now, I was at Walmart the other day, and every time I'm at Walmart, I had to go through the electronics. And uh, in this bedroom, there was a 32 inch TV. Anyway, I saw this 43 inch with the Android uh, TV OS for $288. Uh, I had to pick it up and see what it does. So I'll show you a little bit about it. Okay, here is the settings. Now for the network, uh, I'm only using Wi-Fi. I'm not using Ethernet. Right now, I've got it uh, connected to the 2.4 gigahertz, and it will also connect to the 5 gigahertz. So, uh, that's the Wi-Fi. Channels, that's for your TV. Inputs. Now, again, I'm not using any inputs at all. This is strictly uh, TV. Of course, I don't find any rabbit ears. I've looked everywhere for the rabbit ears, but there's none on this TV. So, anyway... Uh, I don't have anything hooked up to it. This is strictly a TV with a power cord coming out, plugging into the wall. That's all there is. So it's got three different inputs, HDMI, and it's got one composite video. But um, I'm not using any of those. The picture says I'm not using any uh, external devices. That's not enabled. Sound, equalizer, Digital audio. Now this this outputs uh, or de what do you want decompress whatever it decodes the DTS and Dolby Digital. So uh, that's what it does. Google Cast it supports Google Cast 100%. This is an official Android TV OS version. Power storage. Okay. Now it does not have a whole lot of storage. It's got a total space of 4.4 gigabyte. Now, if you notice, there's available 2.4 gigabyte, and I've already added two or three of my programs that I use. Uh, date and time, that comes automatically set. Language, retail mode, which we're not, keyboard, home screen, etc., etc., etc. Okay, now I tried to pair one of my Bluetooth remotes that I use on my Android boxes, external boxes. I tried two different ones, and it would not... Uh, Mate. It would not mate it, I guess. That's what, whatever you call it. But anyway, I cannot get it to pair. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now here's, it comes with Netflix installed, and that goes up to uh, UHD. Uh, YouTube gives you 4K. There's the store. Now, this is a standard uh, Android uh, TVOS store. So it's just a standard one that comes like on your Nvidia Shield or Xiaomi Mi, uh, same thing. Okay, now I installed the HD Home Run. Now what that is, that is a TV tuner. It uses my uh, antenna on the roof to bring in the uh, stations over the air. And here is MB. Now this runs, this is an MB client. I have a server which runs on a different device. And it aggregates all my media and serves it up to this particular um, app. And I'll show you that. And again, it comes with a TV um, app. So there it is. It's a TV being a TV. It is kind of slow on changing the channels. Cash now. And since this isn't a personal loan, there's no now Here's to... the program we'll guide. Cash by a this is your traditional you guide. After and all, you can select you movies, comedy, now, drama. So movies, these Calling are the movies that's being played over the air at this particular now. time. That's so that's six, nine, what three. I want to show you there. Now. Thanks, GG. All right, I'll go into a little depth in uh, some more of the stuff, so hold on. Now, these are the apps that I can add to the top bar. That's the ones that come standard. 
Now I installed this AD64. This tells me what is the uh, information about the CPU and the GPU. Okay, system, it's a Funai, Philips 4K TV, board, Frecia, maximum, whatever. Okay, now we go to the uh, CPU. It tells me the ARM, but it does not tell me what the SOC, system on the chip, is. So I don't know. I called, uh, uh, live chatted with the uh, service the people from Philips, and they said uh, it doesn't have any hardware. It runs off so software. So I didn't want to argue with them. But uh, I do not know what uh, SOC this is running. Is it running um, Amlogic or what? I don't know. The reason why I question that is because uh, some of my uh, Blu-ray rips are encoded in VC-1 codec, and this device will not play it natively. So that is strange that the TV will not do that. But anyway, uh, there is the CPU information, the display, now, it only shows a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. I'm looking at the specs, so I'm not sure how to change that, whatever. But everything else shows that it is playing in 4K when I play a 4K video. So anyway, that's the information on that. Um, okay, now go back to the HD Home Run. Again, this is an app running on this TV. There's no external devices except for my networked tuner that my antenna on the roof connects to and then it uh, connects to my um, it connects to my network I can't be here too long because of that sound But anyway, that's my recordings. But I don't use this anymore. Instead, I use MB TV. And this is fantastic. So, okay, so I will get into a little more of that. It's pretty fast, the loading that stuff. So I'll show you a little bit about that and what I'm talking about. Okay, so right now I am using MB Client running on this TV. Uh, it comes right straight. I don't have to sideload. It's part of the uh, Google Apps for this ATV version. But if you notice, playback info, it says it's transcoding. And video resolution, 1920 by 1080. Uh, transcode feed, 29 frames per second. But if you go down to the very bottom, original media info, it says MKV, but it's a VC1 codec. Uh, so it's being transcoded because this TV does not decode that code video codec. But I guess it's an older codec they use for the Xbox 360, but uh, several of my uh, Blu-ray rips are encoded in that. So that's why it has to transcode. So it's transcode reason, unsupported video. So that's what I wanted to show. Now, if you look at Avatar, and again, this is a Blu-ray rip, which is a 1080p. Uh, it automatically picks out the DTS uh, audio because this has also got HD audio, but it picked out the correct one. So, for us playback, Now, if you notice, that is direct play. There's no transcoding, nothing being done. But that is a video codec of H.264. And it is playing with the DTS uh, natively audio. So no transcoding at all there. Now, these particular movies are the one that I own. So what we're going to do here, we're going to look at a 4K video. And these are the ones, like I say, I own, but I have ripped and put them on network storage devices. This one here, okay, Equalizer 2. Now this is a 4K video. And if you notice, that is direct play also. 
and it shows display mode 1080 with 60 frames per second and video resolution 3840 by 1060 now one thing that this remote does not do I cannot get into the display of the TV and see what frame rates uh, that it's actually displaying at I can't see any of that information because there's no remote no button on this remote so I don't know I don't know how to check it but anyway there again direct play it's a 4k HEVC uh, which is H265 codec, uh, plays very well. So that's what I want to show you on that one. Now here are all my uh, TV recordings. Again, if you look down the bottom right-hand corner, there's 127 different uh, series on it. And again, these all, they're uh, 480i, recorded in basically 480i interlaced and it plays perfectly so there's no issues there at all it's fast it's responsive so that's what i was going to show you right there okay youtube we'll find a 4k video Okay, we picked a 4K video at 60 hertz. A lot of these devices will not play it at 60 frames per second without uh, lots of lost frames. The picture quality is outstanding. Okay, we'll go over here to Nerds. Stats for Nerds. Those two drop frames of 1256 and that was probably when I was pausing it or clicking on the things to go to the setting that brings that up. Current resolution is 3840 by 2160 at 20 or 60 frames per second and that's what it's uh, supposed to be so that works perfectly. Okay, if you notice in the top left hand corner, it says that this particular one is uh, created in HDR, which is high definition uh, video. Now my TV that I have in the living room, which is a Samsung, which I paid considerable amount of money for, does not even do HDR. So this one plays it perfectly. Let's go up here to test pad and see what that does. Ultra HD 4K. 12, Look at the top right hand 14, corner, at the very 16, top, 8000 kbps per second, 3840 by 2160, 20, 20, and it's a 10 bit. 23, 24, now that should go up to 16,000 kilobits. 20, 20, That's why my TV in the living room goes 20, to 16,000. So this one is not making it, and that is probably due to the fact that I'm using the 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now, if I had it connected to Ethernet, it would go to 16,000. Okay, it looks like 10,000 now, but it took a long time getting there. Okay, but it is in U, uh, 4K. Okay, here's another test video. If you notice, the bit rate is 16,000 kilobytes per second. So even though it's running on Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, it's still providing enough bandwidth to support that 16,000 kilobytes per second. So that is excellent, very good. Now, if you notice at the bottom here, it gives you little thumbnails. Now that's what. Um, MB does. They've created thumbnails that works very similar to this. Okay, they, even with the uh, Wi Fi, there is no buffer. Now, this Wi Fi setup, my wide, uh, wireless router is probably about 50 or 60 feet away, going through one, two, several walls stucco wall so uh, it's doing very well so that's what I want to show you there for 
uh, Netflix. Okay, a lot of people are still using Kodi. Uh, I haven't used that in quite a while because I'm uh, using MB primarily server. So let's see if we can install this. Again, it is a native app on the Google Play Store for this uh, device. So, so far, I am very impressed with this $280 TV, $88 TV plus tax, and it's a 43-inch diagonal. So, this is a uh, Ultra HD TV set, 4K. All right, it's downloading. We'll see if it does get done. Well, Cody was taking a long time to download. I don't even know if it will, because I'm limited on storage space. But in the meantime, I'll show you this, uh, uh, this, this remote. It's got the uh, uh, voice remote. So let's check it out. It's very responsive. What time is it? It's 225. So it's kind of slow, but it did work. But anyway, it works very well. Okay, it took a little while, but Cody did install. Like I say, I do not use it, but for purposes of testing, I just installed it. So, all right, that's what it looks like. Let's go to settings a minute. Display. We got to go down to here, go to expert. White list. It's only got one listed. So, uh, what this means is that this TV will not change the frame rate. So, these movies are usually created in 23.995686766, whatever, uh, frame rate. But uh, this TV is displaying them at 60 frames per second. So every so often you will lose one frame, according to what I understand. And I could be dead wrong. Audio. Let's see what we've got here. Again, we... Uh, Okay, so I don't say DTS or anything like that. Okay, so so that's one of the shortcomings of this TV, but I probably would never know it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. So it's for the price of uh, uh, $288 for a 43 inch. It's a pretty awesome uh, TV. Again, I was had a 32 inch here on the bedroom it's kind of old so i figured what the heck uh when i was at the walmart i said i gotta pick it up i have to buy it but anyway i'm very pleased with it does everything i want it to do except for now i do not have amazon prime i don't like amazon but this does not have a have an amazon prime native app now perhaps it can be side loaded i don't know and i really don't care because i don't use it so anyway, uh, overall, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, there's a lot of other reviews of how the how it plays and all that stuff, the guts. But uh, all I'm interested in is how it does this stuff. So anyway, it's very well uh, for me. It does everything I want. And again, I have no external speakers. It's strictly for a bedroom. Uh, the only cord coming out of it is a power cord. Nothing else. Ain't no rabbit ears. So too bad they don't have rabbit ears on it. But anyway, that's enough. Thank you.